Hello guys, welcome to VFIX Technology. Today we will be learning how we can go ahead and create Laravel custom request. If you see the existing code of my one of the store method, on each method, maybe it's store or maybe update, we are creating an unnecessary code. Each time we are validating the data, so we don't want this code and want it short and sweet. So the code becomes more synchronized and it's a more professional approach. Let me tell you how we can go ahead and create Laravel provide this custom request option. If you see that I did a use the same validation on uh, the update and almost similar on the store method. So in order to create, first of all, let me create a custom request. So we're gonna say PHP artisan make request and we can pass into some folder as well. Like I may say post within post, I wanted to create, uh, then we can have to give the name of the request. So I'm gonna say post create request. If you follow this camel case naming convention, it, it would be more professional approach. Now it did create one. Now let's go ahead and check it out. It's supposed to be in app HTTP and you can see request. There you can see post create request. So if you have multiple models, so within request we create, could create the respective folder directory and synchronize the code. So if you see this says, uh, it's a class which is a public function or thrice boolean return gonna be true. Once you say true, then it'll apply this class. And within this return method, we're gonna pass our actual code, which we were validating. So let's go ahead first, take this code only. We're gonna move it here if you read it let me show you what it is the title supposed to be required max 250 string image supposed to be required jpeg png max size and the body that's the exactly same code which we were using over there on the main controller but we did create our custom request we'll save our time and make the code more effective so now we don't need to validate that what we could say, uh, post create request, that's the name of the request and we can have to call it on the top as well. So if you see that, HTTP, I'm gonna say use app, HTTP request and the name of our request, which is post create, request let's see if it works so as of now in the store method nothing is validating all we did just added this class and within this post create request we went ahead and return made true and applied our validations let's see if it works let's go ahead and start the server I'm gonna reload the page and let's click on submit. And we did miss something. Request, post, create request. My bad, I made a typo error here. It's supposed to be within the post folder. Post, create request, let's do it over. Again, it did not work. Post, create request. Post requests, I apologize. Now it's working perfectly fine. See that here it is validating and in the store method, if you see all I'm doing, just calling this request. So we did create our own custom request. It'll make our controller more neat and clean. We're gonna just Tried logic for validation. We will have our, our custom request. Let's do for one more uh, 
the update method yes it won't work on update all the time you may want it to validate some different uh, conditions on update method if it is same you could use it otherwise if it's different you might want to create another class i would say php rdc and make requests and the name gonna be within post folder and the name gonna be uh, post update requests and it did create this one now if you see here within our update method here i'm using one little difference just to let you know instead of nullable or required of image in the last method we had required but in this we are using sometimes that means if it is there within request validate that otherwise don't send the error so i'm going to copy the same and remove it from here and here i'm going to say post update request in a similar way we can have to call it on the top it'll be like use app http requests within the post folder and the name gonna be post update request and this time it should work i believe now all we supposed to do come to the update request put the code and let's reread the code title required string max 254 or anything image gonna be sometimes in the another one we had required and in the create we had required but in update we are saying sometime which means if it's there it's supposed to be validating otherwise it won't that, that's the little difference otherwise both requests are almost similar that's why use update is a different request anyway until you say true condition authorize it won't start checking it let's go ahead and check it out start the server php artisan serve let's check it out we're gonna come to an edit and let's assume i'm gonna uh, remove the title let's see what happens and it is validating you see that however the data came back i did apply the value classes or i may i may say anything if it's not web images there i i chose a web images and clicked on submit and it is indeed following the validation our custom request on our edit form which is update post request and if you see here on the update method we do not have any validation all we are doing just using this post update request so this could be a good help when we are creating scalable project codes remains more, more synchronized so if you guys see any situation feel free to comment and i'll try to help you out thank you guys and please subscribe will motivate us to create more videos like this have a good one cheers bye for now